Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am back in the shop. Um, I am currently working on covering the covering the rudder. I've got the fabric cut for um, covering the uh, elevator over there. So I'm going to get these things covered because I really need to get I need to get them on the plane <clears throat> before I can uh, before I can get to uh, putting uh, before I can get to installing this. Um, so I uh, also I got my my little switch box um, where my radio is going to connect um, for my uh, my headset and everything and my push to talk switch um, down there. This is so I've got that all ready to. It's going to get mounted right about there. Um, it's probably the best uh, the best location for it. The radio will be right here next to it. Uh, I just have to figure out exactly where, so I'm not interfering with uh, interfering with the stick at all with the radio. Um, so that going on, I'm going to actually get the uh, seatbelt um, harness connected. Uh, so I'll get that get the tools out to get that done. And as much as I want to work with this <laughs> as you can imagine um, I uh, the first thing I have to do with it is I've got to flip these mounts over um, so that when I'm ready when I get some weight on the tail then I'll actually be able to uh, set it up here in my my plan is to um, put it up here get it positioned where it needs to go and then uh, go ahead and uh, drill the holes and then drill the make the holes once I have these holes located then I'll make the holes in here to get a ratchet in there or whatever um, and once I get those uh, all that done then I can take the engine back off and finish all this area um, before I start like mounting the uh, uh, mounting the coil to the firewall and uh, all the other things that need to happen associated with the with the engine so um, I will show you um, a little bit more in detail the uh, engine at the end of the video and um, now I'm going to continue to um, work on doing some covering because I need to get this stuff painted and uh, ready to get mounted to the fuselage so that I'll have some weight on the tail and I can put the engine up there. So, all right, uh, cool. And I did make my new tailwheel steering arm and I've got that, uh, I've been putting the uh, primer that I'm using on it out here. So it's been, uh, I had it, got it all cleaned up and I've got that side taken care of now I just got to flip her over and I'll paint the uh, paint the other side and then we'll be able to get that back on so that we can get the tail wheel hooked back up and continue on with all that process so I'm um, just using an SEM primer super good uh, it's probably it's probably one of the best self etching primers that I've used so uh, yeah so I'm gonna get some paint on this and I'll go back in keep covering working toward getting that engine mounted All right, so I got the uh, second side of the fabric on, and now I'm ready to uh, ready to shrink this up. And once I get it shrunk, then I can attach uh, I can attach the, the ribs to the fabric. And then after I get that done, then I can put the finishing tapes on. And then after the finishing tapes are on, we can fill the weave, and then we're at the same place as the fin, and we can move on to the uh, to the elevator. All right, so I'm going to um, get this shrunk and get all that taken care of, and then I'll check in with you after that. All right. 
All right, so I got my seatbelt uh, connection here for the shoulder harness, and I'll figure out if I've got that in the right location here in a minute. But then I got my I got my seat put together, and I got the seat in, and then I uh, I got the seat belt. Let me show you that here. So I got the seatbelt connection made, and it's just a piece of a bolt through from the outside. Um, you have a piece of 3 8 tubing with a quarter inch inside diameter. And that gets uh, put right in here. And then that way your seatbelt can move on it like that, rotate as it needs to. So now I'm just getting the, getting the seat in. I'll get the cushion and put it in here, and then we can kind of see how the seatbelt's going to go. And I want to check this uh, position of the radio. Um, earlier, um, Zach and I actually connected my radio to the battery, and uh, we were able to test um, the uh, push-to-talk and uh, the receiving and everything on the radio with a headset. Everything worked great, so that's exciting. I got that got that right. That was um, I expected to get it right. Zach, uh, Zach helped me with it, so. Um, so that's cool. Uh, let's see, we got this rudder all covered, ready to do the finishing tapes on that. And before I uh, got to that, I got a little bit sidetracked on uh, on getting this done here. I wanted to get it done because it's been a while, and I wanted to get to, uh, I wanted to get the seatbelt in, so we can check all this out. And so now. I'm just going to hop in. I've got about another maybe half an hour um, left. So uh, I'm going to climb in and get my cushion out here so I can get everything sort of at the right height. I'll get this turned back over. Um, position and where it goes. Just right there. moment I installed something backwards here I got the I got the right one going to the wrong side and so I'll switch those switch those around real quick all right All right, so I got, uh, I finally got this, got this all adjusted um, where, where it needs to be, and I don't, you can't see that back there, but uh, that gives me good tension on the cable when I, when I pull on those. So I've got everything inside there now. So I actually attached the uh, headrest. It's now part of the, part of the airframe, um, and uh, so that's really cool. And I've got. Uh, the uh, seat belt and everything is all set in here. So that's good. 
Um, as promised, before I go, I just wanted to kind of uh, give you another look at the engine since it went by kind of fast in the video the other day. So this is, uh, this is it. And um, I'll just kind of walk you through. Um, this is a balancer um, that goes um, behind the crush, behind the uh, hub here. Um, when you attach the, when you attach the prop, and so that's in the he's got it uh, in the position where it needs to be. So I'll keep track of that along the way. On the uh, top of the engine, this is where you put the oil in right here. And then on this side is actually, he machines a really nice dipstick uh, over here. So that's tapped into the case. There's a couple nice markings on it, so. And then uh, this is the breather for the, for the case up on top, run a hose. There, go down out the bottom of the uh, bottom of the airplane. Um, you probably saw the other the other day. The second spark plug is up here on the top. Here's the coil and the plug wires. And when I get the coil mounted to the firewall back here, then uh, I'll make the cables the size they need to be and get those installed back to that coil. Since I picked my engine up, and you didn't have to box it. He, everything is left just like he ran it so which is really nice because um, my intake is already is already on so that uh, that came that way you can see the intake there it's already on and um, he's already timed it and it's got a couple marks here where it's timed to so that's super helpful um, in this bag also is the uh, tubing for um, that comes from here. You connect this one to here and you connect uh, this one to here and that's where the oil comes and circulates around the intake which actually doubles as your uh, carb heat. It, it basically eliminates the need uh, eliminates the need for carb heat. So there's a good view of the good view of the back of the engine. Um, and you can see uh, he's got a nice bracket in here that's actually um, supporting with a shock mount the, uh, the intake where the, the carb is mounted to. So, <clears throat> And so of course the magneto is here. Um, and uh, the electronic ignition is up front here and that's already been set as well. So. Um, nothing, nothing to change there. Um, he set that when he ran it, so all I have to do is make my uh, connections to the coil uh, when that time comes. So, uh, and as we go around this side of the engine, oh, down here, this is a half inch NPT. Um, for the uh, oil temperature uh, sender, which I've ordered, um, probably coming tomorrow. And um, over on this side, uh, up here on the top of the engine, this is where the oil pressure um, sender goes. And I have that uh, coming in as well, so I've ordered uh, both of those. And the spark plug here. Um, and underneath here, you can see the, uh, the oil pump is right there. And uh, this is what she looks like on the bottom. Really nice uh, uh, tubes there where those push rods go through. So, yeah, so that's a uh, little better, uh, little better overview. Obviously, this has been uh, cut down from the original and uh, welded as well as the uh, uh, bracket that holds the covers on has also been um, welded on there so uh, cut and welded and I've got my exhaust tubes here they uh, they go on like so just straight down and those will get put on later after we get everything situated so there 
a little better look than you got the other day. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, we are uh, we are making progress, which is great. And uh, I will uh, I'll catch you later. Thank you.